Hello everybody! In today's video I want to talk about Revolut and TransferWise. And if you travel regularly to countries that have a different currency than yours, then most likely you already heard of those services. And as you can see, I own both cards. I hope you recognized how professionally I censored my data down here. <laughs> but I think after using both of them for a year and traveling to different countries all over the world, I think I'm in a very good position to tell you if I like them, what I like, what I don't like, what they are, and if there is one I prefer. I personally am on the free account on both of them. I purchased the cards. You can get them for a very small one-time fee plus shipping. So when you look at it for the first time, both Revolut and Wise may seem quite similar because both of them are banks. They give you a European bank account. With both of them, you can hold money in different accounts and different currencies. And the feature that I personally use most of the time is when I travel worldwide with them, I pay with them. Because my bank at home, first off, they charge me very high fees. And second, they use a, an exchange rate that's very bad for me. But Revolut and Wise, they just use the interbank exchange account, which is much more cheaper. Most of the time, there's not even any fees when I pay with them worldwide. With both of them, I can save a lot of money while traveling. And the only downside, well, let's not call it a downside, it's more like a neutral, is that you actually have, the, have to have the money on the account to be able to pay with it. So if there's no money there, I cannot use them. But it's not that difficult to put money on them, but we will talk a little bit more about that later when we come to the pros and cons. With both services, you can also cash some money worldwide for free. Well, for free is only up to a certain amount. I never, barely ever cash any money, so this limit is never something that really affects me. There's a few fees that they charge, not much. When you transfer money via bank transfer, obviously there's some charges, but they are very transparent about that. So before you make your transfer, you already see how much they will charge you. And it's a, a lot, a lot cheaper than what my bank at home would charge me. And also with Revolut, for example, when you pay with the card on the weekends, they charge a small fee. During the week is free, on the weekends you have to pay. But really with all those fees, they are very transparent and they're much cheaper than what I would pay with my bank back home in Austria. So now let's talk a little bit more about Revolut first. Revolut is a little bit more tailored towards travelers and they have a nice app which has very functional features. For example, you can very easily add money onto Revolut with an existing card. So for example, I can use my bank card from Austria to quickly transfer some money onto Revolut. And then it's done in a second, I can, I can use this card again. They also have very nice features, like my husband also has one of those Revolut cards. So just like sending messages on WhatsApp, you can send money back and forth. You can split bills directly in the app. You can make a vault, which is like a savings account that everybody can uh, get money in and out of and all those things. So Revolut has a few very nice features. And also when you go into the paid accounts, they have some extras like you can have travel insurance with them. You can have uh, airport launch passes and all those kinds of things. And another thing I really, really like about Revolut is that they give you virtual cards. So Whenever I want to buy something online and it's a little bit a dodgy uh, place or a hotel insists that I have to give them my uh, credit card details over the phone, which I usually would never do, I can just make a virtual card. I make it for the use of one time. I use it. When it's done, it's done. So nobody can access my data. Nobody can access my things. What does not excite me that much about Revolut is that I have to pay fees for paying with it on the weekend. Again, it's not that high as I would usually pay with my card, but nonetheless, they are still there. Also the app with all their extra things like uh, crypto and all those things can get a little bit cluttered. So it's sometimes difficult to see what's really happening. We also ran into problem here in Brazil. It seems like they don't work with one provider. So every time we try to use the card with their machines, it just does not work. And also Uber Brazil over the app, always refuses these cards. So at first it goes through, then it gets rejected. I don't know. So I just started using this card with Apple Pay and pay in Uber with Apple Pay and then it goes through. 
it does not work everywhere. So I would say it probably one out of 25 payments does not work. And another thing that Revolut cannot do is for example, wire some money to Brazil. So we are here right now when we go to a hotel, many times they ask for a prepayment and usually I would just wire it and to save cost. Yeah, but Revolut does not wire to Brazil, which is a little bit annoying, which brings me to Wise. <laughs> With them, it's no problem. So if I, whenever I need to wire some money to Brazil, I just use their thing, which is basically for me the big benefit of having this Wise card as well. They don't have that many features for travelers. It's just, this is actually more like an international business account where you can hold different currencies. And also the app is much more structured like a regular banking app. But one of the downsides is that it's not that easy to put money on this card. Usually you just have to wire it there. It's not like with this two click thing with the, from another card that we have on Revolut. So it's a little bit more complicated. And also all those features that we use a lot to send money between my husband and me back and forth and speed bills is not available on cards like this. So do I have a favorite between those two? Actually, my answer may be no. Because to be honest, both of them have their strengths and I am on the free account on both of them. So it really does not hurt me to have both of them. And I use each of them according to their strengths. So as you may have already guessed, my Revolut card I use for day in, day out, all the payments on the go, restaurants, hotels, groceries, all those things I pay with this card. Also the money I share with my husband, we send back and forth, all the shared bills goes on this one. And this one, the WISE card, I mainly use to make international transfers. So both of them, in my opinion, are extremely useful. I wish there was one card that would combine all the pros into one service, but to be honest, since both of them are free services, it's complaining on a very high level. One more thing I really like about Revolut is the vault system. So this savings account, because with one click, I can transfer money there and transfer it back into my account. And for me, this is another layer of security because I just keep a minimum amount of money available on the card when I'm paying, when I'm out and about. So just in case something bad happens and something hijacks my card, there's nothing there for them to spend. But on the same time, with one click in my app, wherever I am, I can put money there if I need it and I have it. And another benefit of having both of them for some people could be that obviously the limit for free cash is doubled because you get, I don't know, 400 here, 400 there. So it's double the amount of money per month if that is something that you need. So even though both of them have their downsides and they don't work 100% reliably all the time, I'm very happy to have them both. I really take them with me on every single trip. But would I travel with them as my only cards? No, definitely not. I personally feel much safer bringing my Austrian credit card with me, just in case everything goes wrong. And even though I may only need my European card like once every 100 payments, at that payment, I'm glad that I have it. So I have one last tip for you. I almost forgot because of the nice exchange rates. These cards are also extremely, extremely useful to buy software products online. Well, also other things online, but especially with software. The European Apple Store charges a lot more, for example, than the American one. So what I do all the time is instead of buying my software subscriptions over the App Store, is that I go directly to the website of the app programmers <laughs> and I look if they have a gift card. Just last week, something that would have cost me 55 euros paying over the App Store, I ended up paying 35 euros thanks to the gift card and the good exchange rate and the good price in dollars. So yeah, this is about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any tips for me, please let me know. If you want to know more about uh, minimalist traveling and my trips and everything, I will link the playlist right here. And other than that, thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.